Kitty. Um, good start here. I really like all your um, icons. You know, the main thing that really needs to happen with this is just simplify. Um, you're just, you, you've bitten off a lot here. And basically, um, it, they don't, each icon, each attraction looks excellent, but there's, there's not much unity. They just look like they're, it's a list, you know, like a grid. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it looks like they're just floating in the picture plane. Um, so I would suggest just simplifying. You can probably even just go with, you know, the ones that are of similar color here. Um, you know, instead of doing, you know, you just don't need to do so much. Um, pick four attractions. I would also really simplify the text. It's really hard to read text when it's um, all different colors and so on. Um, so what I would really suggest doing is having, you know, I don't know if you read, um, I'm not sure if you, you um, viewed my video, because I know you've been busy with your kid and all that stuff, but um, noticed how, you know, they've got their attractions, but noticed how they're arranging them in this picture plane um, so it looks like a unified piece. It really, ha it, it really is interesting to look at and very attractive because it's got a simple palette. All the attractions really work with each other. So I would go back out and study some of these posters that I um, posted. This is, um, this is up here in the research. And again, I don't, I have a feeling you didn't, um, you didn't read, you didn't view my, um, my info video either, but just, yeah, just have, be sure to view that because it's really, um, it's really pretty important. But again, some of these, notice the simplicity of the color and the way the buildings are ordered with bigger one here and then they get smaller, um, because that's how you create depth. Things in the background that are smaller create depth. And then again, the stars kind of unify it. I mean, you could do that with the snowflakes. Um, we can't use symbols, so you've got to draw the snow out yourself. Um, that's why I don't think you viewed my video. Um, so I would just study these and, and you know, please view, view that video. It's in here and I'll post it also. This one right here, week seven and eight. It also talks about not using any symbols. So um, this is a really nice one too. Notice the sky the buildings, um, the skyline's really nice, the moon, the plane, very simple type. So we're looking for something simple. And um, let me show you another one of a past student. Um, here's another one of a past student, and then she added the text. Um, and again, of course, the buildings don't all look orange and blue, but this is what she used to create the design and to create the unity, and that's why it's so attractive. And then notice the repetition of the clouds, different sizes in the sky also work. Um, pretty well. Um, okay, so really have a look at that. I don't, I'm not quite sure if you, I, um, I posted the video for your map um, today um, because I, I just didn't see that you posted the second one in the Dropbox. So again, you know, you've done most of the hard work with the icons. Now you just really have to work on the design um, and you just don't need so much information. Um, just maybe just the city the city name needs to be a lot bigger and then just a small um, state name. Okay, and then maybe if you want to, if you want to, that would be good for a tagline. But again, do it something, you know, if you're going to add a little tagline, um, do it something like this. You know, the city by the bay, San Francisco, then California, something small like that that makes sense. But um, okay, so anyway, um, I hope you found this useful and um, um, yeah, um, looking forward to seeing what you do with the design.